So the first one we're going to do is a sketch by Sunday Sketches. And the website is stamptodiefor.com. And you can go on any of these websites, um, Mojo Monday, Freshly Made Sketches. Um, there's a whole lot of them that you can just go online and you can print off their sketches. Now, don't be intimidated by them, like when you first look at them, because they're really not. Just start at the bottom layer and work your way up. That's the easiest way that I found to do it. Um, yeah, so let's get on to this. So I've already cut everything, so you don't have to watch me going through all that. I do have a tent full card here. It's four by five and a half that I'm going to use. I have a panel and I'll, I'll just go through everything. Okay, so I have my card base here. My next paper is right here. It's three and a half by four and three quarters. The next piece is this piece that's going across here. It's one and three quarters by four and one quarter. And then you have this piece here is two and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. Now, and I did cut a mat for this paper as well. Now, once you get all those pieces cut, it's just a cinch to, to glue them down and you're done. Add a sentiment, poof, you're done. So, and what I like to do too is when I have time on my hands, I'll just sit and I'll cut papers to match, you know, two or three different sketches and then put them in a little baggie. And then when I feel like crafting, if i am got no mojo, I just take that out and I start doing that. And that just kind of perks me up, gets the, the creative juices flowing, as you would say. Okay, so let's just put this together so you can see. Um, okay, so we have the card base. We're gonna glue this first piece down. If my glue wants to come out. I praise this glue up and it's nothing, given me nothing but problems ever since. <laughs> Is that Murphy's Law or something? Now these papers that I'm using are old. They, um, I used to have a scrapbook store and I have enough paper to definitely outlive me. But you know, it's addiction. You just got to keep buying it too, right? But I am trying to be so good and use up what I have because it's, I mean, that's pointless not to use up what you have, right? Like, I know we want to have all those nice new things and I do have some nice new things coming in the mail. So anyways, back to the card. Uh, okay, now we're going to do our little cross part here. It's one and three quarters by four and a quarter. Now, they did it so that I went all the way across the card base on each side. And I, I think, personally, I don't like that. I like I prefer to have it cut right to just the, co the colored paper here. But I'm going to follow the sketch because that's what I'm showing you. <laughs> now, I did think about matting this. But because I'm going to mat this one, I didn't want to have, like, too many layers on there. You don't have to mat any of these if you don't want to. I find if you put a, a just a thin mat behind a couple of the pieces, it really uh, makes them pop more. So don't be afraid to experiment with that too. I can't tell. I got to try and look over me over my <laughs> look. Try and look over my camera here to see down. Okay. Oh, this poor little bottle embarrassing <laughs> okay put this down we're almost to the end you know that's going to go on there I love 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 bright colors and turquoise is probably my one of my favorite colors I like all the colors I think <laughs> Whenever I'm, whatever I'm making at the time, I love it all. <laughs> Crazy girl. Okay, so look at this. This is actually pretty cool. That took no time at all. Wouldn't, don't you think some little girl would just love to get that bright colors? Okay, now I do have a happy birthday here that I'm going to put in. Like I said, I, I took it out of my little box of 
sentiments and it just fits perfect on there. It's a little crumpled. We'll pretend it happened in the mail. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't go messaging me and telling me how awful I am now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I should have put a different one on there. But okay, there it is. Isn't that sweet? Look how bright that is. Oh, I just love it. But then again, you know I love everything that I make. <laughs> okay, let's get the next one started. Okay, the next one is a Mojo Mondays uh, card sketch. And if you just want to search it up, search it, just go in the search engine and type in Mojo Monday. You'll find all of them. Um, this one's number 567, I believe. Okay, so now on this one, it shows a card panel, but it looks like it's a plain one. I'm going to use this as my card panel. See, all these papers are double-sided, and they all coordinate with each other. So that's the best part. It's easy when you have paper that coordinates. So um, those 6 by 6 paper pads or the 6 by 8 paper pads, watch them when they go on sale and grab them because you can make a lot of cards out of them, and it's it takes a lot of the guesswork out. Okay, so back to the card. So oops, this is going to be my card panel. And next up... Uh, we have this mat behind here, which is I've done in red. Okay, I'm going to glue that down. Isn't this crazy cool? <laughs> I love it. I think my bottle is like full of air. <laughs> Let's see. It is 11.17 p.m. It wants to go to sleep, I guess. Okay, and this is going to go right in the middle. I can't really see if I'm straight or not. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Okay, and the next one is this strip, which needs to go on here. And I am going to mat this on navy blue. And this strip is one and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I'll put this on like that. I'll glue this down now. I'm sorry about my glue bottle. I promise before I do the next card, I'll put more glue in it so it hopefully doesn't do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this down as even as I can between the top and the bottom, leaving just a little bit on the side like it shows here. Okay, and I have this navy to make a little tag out of, so I'm just going to cut this. Okay. Probably should have just left it alone, right? <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. And then I haven't put anything on the, for the circle yet. And I am not going to actually do a circle. Because I have something else planned. I don't really have um, much for... Um, happy birthday or anything to go inside a circle like a lot of it will come outside so and that's the other good thing about doing sketches you can change up things like you don't have to put a tag there like if you're doing I don't know maybe a mother's day card or something you want to put a flower there you can you want to put a flower here and the sentiment here you can just you know this is kind of like a guideline and the thing is when you follow it you get the card the way you want it 
Okay, so what I did was I have this, um, I have this sentiment and it says, it's your birthday. It was all just one piece. So I've cut it up and I'm going to put it on this card like that. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you would have done something different. I love all your comments, by the way. You guys and gals, mostly gals, I am assuming. Um, just blow me away with your comments. I so appreciate that. You never know if you're doing any what you're doing well because, I mean, you don't have anybody to ask. I asked my husband. He goes, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, anyways, talk away to me in the comments. If I don't get back to you right away, don't panic. I try to get back to everybody. And if you have commented and I've missed you, I do apologize. And my bad. And I'll try to be more careful. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's put this on a card base. Oh, I was going to tell you, this sentiment here, It's Your Birthday, is from the All Occasions Paper Roses. I've been using the Crisp Christmas one a lot. And this one has every day. It has Happy New Year, St. Patrick's Day, Happy Nurses Day. We appreciate you. Thank you. Just because. Miss you. Happy birthday. Sympathy. It's got everything in here. And they come in both black and white. And there's so many in here. Like, and these are only around five dollars. It's crazy. Actually, I think scrapbook.com has them on sale for three something. Or hopefully it's still on sale if you're looking for some. Anyways, I was gonna get my card base, wasn't I? <laughs> I get sidetracked so easy. Oh my goodness, it's like this card. Oh. That little bit of white border just pops it as well, doesn't it? Now, how cute. How stinking cute is that? Wow. Okay. Let's move on to number three. Okay. Now we're back to do card number three. Okay. So this sketch is from Freshly Made Sketches. It's number 609. They didn't have the measurements in here, so I kind of figured them out on my own. Um, <clears throat> I'll just read them out as I go through everything. Okay, so my sentiment. These two little strips here are going to turn into the flags that are on the card here. This little piece is this piece in the middle here. It's two and a half by three inches. This longer piece is this one right back at behind here. It's two and a quarter by five inches. Oh, and I've cut some mats. There is brown at the back of this paper. It's in the it's in the paper pack. <laughs> and so I have a mat for this one and a mat for this one, just to break up the busyness of all the papers. Okay, so it's basically going to go like this. And then the two. Okay, I'll just glue them and, and um, get going here. Oh, started gluing the wrong piece of paper again. These papers are so vibrant, aren't they? They're just really cool. It's actually from an old paper pad. And I think it's called... It's called Lime Twist, and it's by My Mind's Eye. Now, I don't even know if they're in business anymore. Um, and this one says Life of the Party, so it has a ton of cool cool papers in here so yeah cool cool so let's look see which ones you like the best like i like the nice bright colors and uh i know my sister likes more of the neutrals like the grays the tans navy that kind of thing which is to each their own right i mean i don't i don't say i'm not buying those papers i do but or i don't have I have those papers. I just, I don't 
think about using them a lot because I like bright colors. <laughs> I just find they're fun. Everybody has their preference and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. This looks kind of cool already. It doesn't take long, does it? I mean, these paper pads make all the, I mean, they do all the work for you because you don't have to uh, think about really what your, what colors you have to put together. There's one. If you've never cut these before, all you need to do, let's put these in quickly. All you need to do is you just cut up the middle. See that? Just cut the middle a little bit. And then start at this corner here and just cut towards that where you just cut up the middle there. And I usually have to turn it over to do the other side, which doesn't always make it easier, but, and there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, let's glue these down. Okay, so the card sketch says to about a quarter of an inch from the left side. Okay, and then put this one down. Now again, this one just showed the white in the background, so you could put it straight on a card if you want it. I just like to add a, something with a little bit more color. That's why I put the back the panel paper on there. Okay, now they want this hmm, about a quarter inch from there, and it looks like it's pretty even between those two. All right, we're going to put that down. I have to check to see if it's straight because I won't notice until it's all stuck. Just looking in the camera here. This helps if a card is straight, girl. Like, <laughs> I think I need to go to bed. All right, now this one, this one goes first. And then this one goes over top of it, like that. Hmm, kind of cool colors, hey? Now, I don't know, maybe you're, you guys are thinking, oh, that looks like a hot mess. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to like everything. Do a little birthday with whoops birthday wishes on here. <laughs> I was gonna put it on a mat and I thought, you know, it's I've got to have a couple of things already matted. I just didn't really want to keep adding more and more mats. So but this actually looks pretty good. That is cool. And how quick was that? Like so stinking cute for so little time. Okay, we'll glue this down. Let's start it on my birthday cards for next year. All right. I apologize if I seem quiet, but it is almost midnight here. And uh, my husband's sleeping, but he's upstairs at the far end of the house. He doesn't hear me, but I think it's because it's nighttime. I just have a tendency just to talk quieter. <laughs> Okay, so let's see these cards. So this is the third one. Let me go away before it starts going crazy. Here is the second and first one. I'm just going to get there. Okay, so this one here, I did put a panel on the inside and I stamped a little butterfly inside. So that's this pattern right here. Whoops, right here. So cute, huh? Love it. Okay, now this one here, 
is the Mojo Monday one. This is really cute too. Like you could change up the papers in this and make it Christmas if you wanted to. Like seriously, any of them. It sure is a boy's card though, hey, with the navy and the green. Okay, and this could be for anybody. Um, maybe not male, but <laughs> it could be a mom or a sister, not a little girl is what I mean. Okay, so, and this is the third one. <laughs> I'm going to stop laughing. I must be overtired. Okay, so I put a little message in my video earlier when I was doing the third card that I didn't like the sentiment. It kind of looked lost on the card. So here's what I did. I added a way bigger sentiment to it, and I think it looks so much better. I also think, now you, I know I shouldn't be wanting to change my cards after, but th sometimes when you look at them after the fact, they look like you could do something with them. So for this one here, I wish that I had actually now done a circle on it. I think it would have taken up a little bit more room on this red part right here. So probably a time that I should have followed all the all the directions, but I still think the card looks really great as is. But for next time, you never know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.